Hi, I'm Trawler Specialist Jeff Merrill. I'd like to introduce you to my good friend, Douglas Cochran. Jeff and I have teamed up to make a series of videos called The Physics of Docking. Well, Douglas, on a powerboat, obviously the propeller has a lot to do with docking. What can you tell us about that? Well, we're going to talk about three different aspects of the propeller. The first is the propeller has a screw, and that's why they often call the propeller a screw is because it literally screws its way through the water. Secondly, we're going to talk about prop wash, and this is a real critical part of carrying on with a pivoting. We're going to use prop wash to push the stern back and forth. The third thing is prop walk, where the, the prop will walk its way sideways. Based on the rotation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good. Okay. So we'll get into that in a little more detail here and show you what we mean by these different terms. Let's do it. The propeller acts in three different ways. The prop is a screw, the prop producing prop wash, and the prop is a paddle wheel. Let's talk about each of these in detail. Most of the time, the prop acts like a screw. It literally screws its way through the water. It isn't really pushing water behind it so much as carving its way into the water ahead. To do so efficiently, a prop is designed with three key features. So let's talk about the features of a prop. This is a right-handed prop. You can tell because the cutting edge goes first, the trailing edge follows. Each blade is pitched so that the cutting edge screws its way into the water. The trailing edge is scooped. It forces more water behind it so it enhances the screwing effect of the prop. Now let's talk about what happens when the rudder produces resistance to the prop action. This is what we call prop wash. Before the prop overcomes the inertia of the boat, it creates a stream of turbulence behind it. If there's no resistance to this stream, it simply pushes against the boat until it begins to move forward. But if there is something that resists the stream of turbulence, the stream pushes against it. For example, if the rudder is turned, the prop wash will press against it and push the stern sideways. The prop wash is strongest before the boat begins to move. Once it is moving, the prop wash is balanced by the screw effect. The boat moves forward as it turns. So we've been talking about how prop wash works. At this point, I've got the helm all the way to starboard. We're at a dead stop. Now watch what happens when I put it in gear. We're just gonna put it in gear. We're not gonna rev it up. You can see that it immediately starts pushing the stern to port and the bow turns to starboard. Now I'm gonna turn it the other way. We'll put the helm all the way to port. We'll put it in forward briefly. And you'll see how the stern walks to starboard and the bow turns to port. Let's talk about another prop effect called prop walk. Earlier, we discussed how the prop is optimized to screw its way through the water. The leading edge cuts cleanly into the water, and the trailing edge is curved to accentuate the force. But what happens when the prop runs in reverse? The trailing edge becomes the leading edge, but its curved shape doesn't cut cleanly. Instead, it tends to paddle wheel sideways, pulling the stern with it. The scooped trailing edge will also work when you're in reverse, and it doesn't have the same efficiency Propellers are also called wheels, and this is a paddle wheel effect, and will actually rotate and slide the boat over to the direction that it's rotating, which is what we call prop walk. Prop walk only works in one direction, and it's dependent on which way your prop turns. So a left-handed prop goes counterclockwise, so when it paddle wheels, it'll paddle wheel to starboard. A right-handed prop turns clockwise, so it paddle wheels to port. How do you know which way your prop on your boat turns? You could dive in the water and put the boat in gear and see which way it turns, but there's a better way. Make sure your dock lines are all secure. Start the motor, put the boat in forward gear, then go down to the engine room and look at the shaft. If the top of the shaft is turning to starboard, that means the shaft is turning in a clockwise direction, so you have a right-handed prop. If the top of the shaft is turning towards port, the shaft is going counterclockwise and you have a left-handed prop. 
What this means to you is that on your boat, once you have determined whether you have a right-handed or left-handed prop, you know which way the boat will want to prop walk when you put it in reverse. And this is particularly important when you're docking, because when you get almost up to the dock and you put the boat in reverse, you want it to walk into the dock, not walk away from the dock. So that's your first test to find on your boat is which way the prop runs, because that will affect your docking maneuvers. Another factor with prop walk is how much pitch you have in your shaft. If the shaft is very nearly level, has very little pitch to it, you'll get very little prop walk. On the other hand, if the shaft has a greater pitch, if it's at a greater angle to level, the more pitch it has, the more prop walk you'll get. So that again, you can look at your shaft in the boat and to determine how much pitch you have and then be sure to experiment with this to see how effective that is. This is also affected by the size of your prop. Big prop, especially if there's a lot of pitch on the blades, will prop walk better than a smaller prop. Folding props are almost useless. Okay, now this is prop walk. It doesn't matter which way the helm is turned because it's not gonna affect anything. But as soon as we go into reverse, the prop will this is a right-handed prop, and so the prop will walk to a port. This boat has a very flat shaft, and so it doesn't really prop walk very much. So just to recap, with the prop, we have prop wash, which we can use to push the stern in either direction, and prop walk, which works only in one direction, which is, depends on whether you have a right-handed or a left-handed prop. Well, and I think the, the point we want to show, too, is that you need to try this on your boat. We're giving you an example on this boat. Every boat handles differently, and you want to practice these things until they become second nature, and you become very comfortable in different docking situations that, that are going to arise. So go out on a nice calm day when there's not a lot of traffic. Find some open water and experiment with these things. It'll pay off in spades in the long run. In our next segment, we will show you how to use these prop effects to pivot the boat within its own length. This is a useful technique, especially when navigating in tight quarters. Don't touch that dial, it's coming up next. <music>